Showtime. Yes, it's showtime, the half hour that brings you each week in condensed form an outstanding musical play. This showtime, we go back to the year 1922 to recreate for radio the Sigmund Romberg operetta, Blossom Time. Our stars are Patrice Munsell, Kenny Baker, and Gordon McRae. The chorus is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and all the music is directed by our showtime conductor, Carmen Dragon. Blossom Time is based on music by the great early 19th century composer Franz Schubert. Sigmund Romberg has adapted these Schubert themes as melodies of the 20th century. And perhaps the best known example of this will be found in the ballad Song of Love, which is taken from a theme in Schubert's eighth symphony, the Unfinished Symphony. Here, then, is the story of the life and music of Franz Schubert as played by Gordon McRae. <laughs> In tonight's performance, you will hear the charming color or two soprano of the Metropolitan Opera Company, Patrice Munzel. And as Baron Schober, the popular tenor of radio on the screen, Kenny Baker. As we turn back the pages of time, I become the composer, Franz Schubert, seated at a table in a small outdoor cafe with my closest friend, Baron Franz Schober. It's blossom time in Vienna, and everyone is singing. Let us greet the spring with singing why. Golden in the glasses, ringing why. Should we never care? Joy is everywhere, so fill your glasses, all you have and let us stay. Let us greet the spring with singing words. Daily in the sky, our winging why. Should we never care? Did you ever see such a day, Schober? Why, look at that sky. Sky, sky. At the moment, I'm more interested in my stomach. Where is that waiter? I'm afraid he's very busy. The whole town seems to have turned out and landed right here at Domeyer. Come on, let's order everything on the menu, huh? Wait a minute, Franz. Remember, I'm just a poor composer. Oh, just because you're wealthy, I, I can't always take advantage of our friendship to... Uh... Look, a great composer like you shouldn't have to worry about material things. Your thoughts should be on you, spring and... In... And music. Oh, what inspiration I get on such a day as this. Birds are darting, buds are starting, hand in hand, oh, girl and boy. Very charming, but more calming is the wine cup golden joy. I would roam from my home far across the sea. My joy best is expressed in a melody. What more royal, comrade loyal, greater blessings can you tell? Since you're pondering wine and wandering friendship, I will lose its spell. Oh, gentle April, who blesses the earth with caresses, be kindly and give me the girl. Maiden, whose one let sweet lilacs blossom while I sing her praises, my springtime bow. Oh, how the world laughs in springtime, tis ever known as love's own ringtime. Why are we waiting? The birds are mating. In every tree they chirp and sing. And in the green forest, flowers, we find a wreath of snowy flowers. Why do we tarry? It's time to marry. Come back the blossoms in the spring. And in the green forest, flowers, we find a wreath of snowy flowers. Why do we 
we tarry, it's time to marry. Come pluck the blossoms of the spring. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Isn't it great? Look at those blossoms. And look at those three beautiful young girls sitting at that table over there. Ah, uh-huh. careful, Brian. Pull in the reins. <laughs> a man could get into trouble on a day like this. Where is he? Where is Baron Chauvin? Yeah, I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, there you are. Madame Bella Bruna. You deceiver, you breaker of women's hearts. Now, please, just a moment. You I... promised to take me to supper last night after my performance at the opera. Where were you? Careful, madame. My friend is a composer. You'll upset his inspiration. I'm not interested in his inspirations. I'm only interested Bella in... Bruna! My husband. My husband. Or no. Good heavens. Oh, I must fly. Get out of sight, Baron. He's frightfully jealous yes. of you. Yes. Uh, Franz, where shall I go? Here, under the table. Oh. Where is she? Where, 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 where did she go? Young man, wasn't it Madame Bella Bruna here a moment ago? Well, she may have been, sir. I couldn't say. I saw her talking with that young whippersnapper, Baron Shoba. Uh, where did they go? Uh, that way, I think. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll find them, and when I do, I'll be... <laughs> All right. The coast is clear, Shoba. You can come out now. Oh. You certainly get yourself involved, my friend. Yes, but through no fault of my own, Franz. Bella Bruno fancies herself in love with me. Oh, and you? Franz, you know women mean absolutely nothing to me. Nothing. I, uh, I beg your pardon, but aren't you Baron Chaubert? Well, I... 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 Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, eh? Oh, Baron Chaubert, you don't remember me. And after giving me your key and everything... Why, Baron Schober. Why, Baron Schober? Uh, uh, what key? The key to your ice skate. My ice skate? Why, I haven't been skating since I was ten years old. Ten? Well, you told me you were twelve. Oh. Oh! Oh, why, 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 you're Mitzi. Little Mitzi. (laughs) Mitzi (laughs) Kranz. Miss Kranz, may I present Mr. Schubert? Oh, you're not Ron Schubert. Yes, I'm afraid I am. Oh, I'm honored to meet you. Thank you. And I'm delighted to meet you. My sisters and I were sitting over there at that table, and we saw you turn and look at us, and well, suddenly I recognized Baron Schaubert, and I remembered that years ago he told me if I was ever in trouble to call on him. And, uh, are you in trouble, Missy? Oh, desperate trouble. Well, what's wrong? My sisters want to get married, but my father doesn't think we should have bows. Oh, you, you should have a bow, Miss Mitzi. Oh, my sisters, Kitsy and Fritzy, have. They went out walking with them just now, and... If Papa finds out about it, he'll be furious. Isn't that your father just turning the corner there? Oh, dear. Oh, what can I do? If he sees me here talking to a man, he'll be furious. Well, wait a minute. I'll tell you what. I'll go tell him you're arranging for Franz for some music class. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Isn't it, Mr. Schubert? Why, I can't think of a better one. Good. I'll take care of it right away. It's a beautiful day, isn't it, Miss Mitzi? Yes, beautiful. You know, moments like this have been the theme of music since... Time began. A lovely girl, a spring day, and a lonely man. Once on a time in a kingdom by the sea lived a young prince and lonely. Yeah. 
My dear friends, dare I say, ladies and gentlemen, today we have been present at the marriage of three of my two daughters. I mean, uh, two of my three daughters to three of the two gentlemen. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Papa, you're getting all mixed up. Now, Mitzi, if you're going to interrupt me, I'll lose the thread of the whole thing here. I'll have to start all over again with the thread in one eye and a tear in the other. Now, as I Mr. was... Mr. Klein. Baron Schober, please, don't interrupt, please. But, Mr. Kranz, we're waiting to sing the serenade Mr. Schubert composed especially for the occasion. Oh, really? Well, where is Mr. Schubert? Well, I'm right here at the piano, Mr. Kranz. Oh, what, what a coinky dinky <laughs> Very pretty indeed, Mr. Schubert. Oh, thank you, Mr. Cran. A little depressing, but pretty. Why, don't be silly, Mr. Cran. People will be singing that song when we're all playing on harps. That's what I mean. <laughs> depressing, ain't it? Yes, Mr. <laughs> don't pay any attention to Papa, Mr. Schubert. It was beautiful. If my little song pleased you, Miss Mitzi, then I'm happy. Well, come, everybody. Coffee and cake in the garden. <laughs> May I call Papa? You mean you want to rain at the table? Ha, <laughs> ha. Aren't you coming with us into the garden, Franz? Oh, no, thanks. I, I'm a little self-conscious among so many people. <laughs> among people or just around Mitzi? Is it that obvious? It is to me. You know, I wrote my serenade just for her. I tried to say everything in music that I've never been able to put into words. Did you tell her that? No. When I'm with her, my throat goes so dry, it's all I can do to pass the time of day. <laughs> Look, I've written another song for her, Franz, a love song. W would you sing it to Mitzi for me? Me? You have a way about you with women. I know it's asking a great deal, but I, I hoped you might be willing to help me out. Why, of course I will, Franz. At least I'll, I'll do my best. Oh, thank you, my friend. Oh, Baron Schober, Baron Schober, there's a very beautiful lady in the garden asking for you. What's her name, Mr. Kranz? Madame Bella Bruna. Bella Bruna? Yeah. <laughs> you can't escape your past, Franz. Uh, who wants to escape a past like Bella Bruna? <laughs> now, wait a minute. Don't let her charms fool you, Mr. Kranz. She has a violent temper. You see that scar on my hairline? Yes. Soup tureen. No. <laughs> yes. Besides, she has a very jealous husband, if my memory serves me right. Her husband isn't with her, is he? No. Oh, good. 
Well, I'd better go out and get rid of her before he shows up, and then I'll be covered with... But, Franz, what about my song? I'll sing it to her later, Franz. Franz, Franz, don't you chaps get your love letters mixed up? French Schubert, French Schober. Love letters? Why, Franz Schober is a baron, a gentleman. While I... Well, I... you're nothing but a genius, you sly old foxy, you. Oh, <laughs> uh, Papa, the guests are beginning to leave, and... Oh, Mr. Schubert, I thought you'd gone. I know I... Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll go back to being host again. Uh, depressing, ain't it? <laughs> Everyone enjoyed your serenade so much, Mr. Schubert. They were all talking about it outside. Would you permit me to dedicate it to you, Miss Mitzi? Oh, Franz, how wonderful. I mean, Mr. Schubert. Oh, no, please. If you know what it means to have you call me Franz. Miss Mitzi, dare I hope that... Well, I got rid of Bella Brute. I, oh. I think... Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, don't apologize, Baron Schober. We're delighted to see you. Yes, of course, we're delighted. May I come in? Yeah, oh, Bella Bruna. <laughs> I'm not intruding, am I? Oh, of course not. Uh, 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 Franz, uh, didn't you want to say goodbye to Fritzie and Kitsy? They're leaving on their honeymoon, you know. You'd better hurry. They were on their way when I came in. Yes, oh, we'll catch them. Come on, Franz. Oh, we'll be right back, Miss Mitzi. I, I mean, we have something important to tell you. Coming, Franz? Coming. Charming man, Baron Schubert, don't you think, Miss Grimes? Very. So is Mr. Schubert. All Papa's friends are most pleasant. Now, wait till I know one who's head over heels in love with you. You do? Who? Oh, come now. I'm sure you can guess the name. It's someone who just left the room. Oh, madam, you embarrass me. I'll give you the initials, then. S.S. -S. How could you tell? He's so shy. Oh, he's shy with you, is he? That's a new method. What do you mean? Why, that bashful, shy creature with the silent man and the eloquent eyes has left a trail of broken hearts all over Vienna. I don't believe it. He's fine and good Oh, and... don't be taken in, my dear. These shy fellows are the worst of all. I don't believe you. You have no proof. No proof? Why, I am the proof. He was shy with me. He looked at me with those longing eyes. He sang to me. Oh, madam. You must weep and let your tears be tears of joy. But far better to cry at your age than to cry at mine. Good afternoon, Miss Grant. Oh, friend. Has she gone yet? Uh... Mitzi. Mitzi. What happened? What's wrong? Oh, leave me alone. Schober. Schober. Oh, you're both here. Franz, here's a copy of my song. Wouldn't now be a good time to... Oh, uh, Mr. Schubert. Uh, Baron Schober, I, I know you'll excuse me. I must see to our guest. No, 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 wait, Mitzi. Uh... Just a moment, huh? You see, Franz has composed a new song that he wishes to lay at your feet. Doesn't that interest you? Oh, I'm sorry, I... Uh... Oh, please, come. Sit down and let me sing it to you. Oh, well, if you wish to sing it, Baron Schober, it will give me great pleasure to listen. Good. Then sit here, huh? The place of honor in a private box. Franz, is the orchestra ready? I'm here. <laughs> The zephyr murmurs to his love the trees. The lilacs yield their honey to the bees. The nightingale sobs out his accents long. While I can only breathe to you in song. While I can only breathe to you my yearning song. Oh, what's my love? my friend. I wait for her answer in, in the garden. Very well, Franz. Mitzi, Franz Schubert wrote that song to tell you of his love. He worships you, Mitzi. He wants you for his wife. But I can't marry him, Franz. I don't love him. I... He, but you must love him, Mitzi. You're the whole world to him. Oh, Franz, I can't help how I feel. I can't change how I feel. I just feel I... It's you. You I love. Mitzi. Oh, darling. What a fool I've been. I... Mitzi, I've always loved you. Oh, son. Darling. Darling. No. No. What have I... What have I done? I... It was for my dearest friend, Franz Schubert, I promised to speak. What can I say to Franz? 
see nothing. Fine. I saw it all, and I understand. Franz, it, it was unintentional, believe me. Can, can you forgive me? Why, of course. It will bring me great joy to know that you both are happy. Go tell your father the glad news, Miss Mitzi. Come, darling. Goodbye, Mr. Schubert. We'll never forget you. She loves him, of course. How could I have thought for a moment that she could care for me? Well, at least I have my music. My eternal mistress. She will never desert me. Oh, Missy. Missy. You've left me nothing but echoes of melody. I'll never write again. Never again. A caller at this hour? I'll soon see who it is, Mr. Schubert. Is Mr. Schubert at home? He is, but he's been quite ill, and I... Sure I'll see the gentleman, Mrs. Coburg. Won't you come in, sir? Thank you. I'm sorry to bother you so late in the evening, Mr. Schubert. But I am Count Schantoff, the husband of Madame Bella Brun. Oh, yes, the opera singer. I just heard your unfinished symphony perform, Mr. Schubert. It was magnificent. Thank you. I'm so impressed. I'd like to arrange that you write an opera for Madame de la Bruna. I should be honored. As soon as my health improves... I came tonight because I may not be able to talk with you at a later date about this. However, I've arranged a payment for you in my will. Your will? Whether we meet again, Mr. Schubert, depends entirely upon the accuracy of my age. Oh, a duo. Well, to say, rather, an affair of honor. An affair of honor. Can any fancied slight justify the taking of life? This is no fancied slight. This man's in love with my wife. And I know Baron Schober's reputation. Schober? Are you referring to Franz Schober? Yes. We meet at dawn. Oh, Count Schantoff, this is all a mistake. Schober is engaged to marry the daughter of the court jeweler, Mitzi Kranz. I beg of you, don't jeopardize their happiness. They are so much in love. Why do you make such a plea for them? He is my best friend. And she... She is the woman you loved and lost? Yes. But you don't want me to kill the man? Oh, no. There's enough unhappiness in the world. Let those who have been fortunate enough to find happiness keep and enjoy it. You plead well, sir. All right. Have Baron Schober send his seconds to me. We'll arrange a reconciliation. Thank you. I'll send word to him at once. Mr. Schubert, we will meet again. It's a rare pleasure to meet a gentleman such as you. Good night, sir. Good night. Mrs. Coburg? Mrs. Coburg? Yes, Mr. Schubert? Go to the residence of Baron Schober and ask him to come here immediately. It is of the utmost importance. Yes, sir. Oh, what music. What eternal music is sounding in my ears. Where is my pen? I must, I must write it down. Mitzi. Oh, it is her dear voice in my heart, giving me inspiration.
here? Or am I dreaming again? I'm really here, Franz. I came to talk to you. I've learned the truth from Madame Bella Bruna. The day of my sister's wedding, she warned me against a faceless lover. I thought it was you. I see. Oh, Franz, I can't bear to think of you like this, ill and alone. Will you let me try to make amends? I'll devote my life to making you happy. Do you mean you... You are in love with me, Mitzi? Well, I've always been very fond of you, Franz. I'll nurse you, serve you, treasure your music. Mitzi, look at me. Look at me and say, Franz, I love you. Oh, Franz, I... It's no good, my darling. You see, with all your generosity, you cannot give me that. So there is nothing you can give me. Now, uh, what has happened between you and Schober? I'm never going to see him again. After some of the things Madame Bre- Bella Bruna said, why... He loves you and you love him. It doesn't matter what anyone says. I don't love him. Oh, I see. Then you would desert him in his hour of danger. Danger? Count Chantoff has challenged him to a duel. A duel? Take place at dawn. Oh, no. He can't. He might be killed. <laughs> you see, you do love him. Come in. Run! Oh, Mitzi. Mitzi, my dear. Oh, darling. Darling. Franz, Count Chantoff was here. He wants to speak to your seconds to arrange a reconciliation. A reconciliation? Oh, Franz, I don't know how to thank you. Don't try, my friend. Just be happy together, always. We will, Franz. We will. And so I, I give my song of love to you. Take it. For it belongs to people like you who meet and fall in love in blossom time. You are my song of love, melody immortal, echo of paradise, heard through heaven's Showtime presentation of Blossom Time with book by Dorothy Donnelly and the Franz Schubert music adapted by Sigmund Romberg. Gene Holloway wrote the radio version of Blossom Time, and our stars were Gordon McRae, Patrice Munsell, and Kenny Baker. <laughs> 